Oh, we're rolling? Oh, okay. Meme review. Meme review. Happy Thursday, you beautiful YouTube motherfuckers, you, and welcome to another edition of Gun Meme Review. Um, that's about the best intro I got for you, so let's hop right in. Actually, I thought I did have an intro for that. A lot of the memes for this week's meme, re or this month's meme review, we're not doing them every week. One more thing, actually. All of the memes, oh, that's a lie. About half of the memes that we're gonna be going over this month's meme review are actually from the new Discord server. So there is an entire section of the Discord for the AK guy that is devoted to gun meme review suggestions. So if you're brave enough, go in there and start chatting it up with memes and doing whatever it is you millennials do. That was like the most boomer sounding thing I could possibly. Start chatting it up with the memes. All right, so let's see what you guys have in store for me today. Small town officer. Is there any weapons in the car? Me, riding around with enough small arms, ammo, and MBGs to make a Somali warlord proud. Nervous laughter. I can very much relate to that, especially recently, because all of that stuff behind me, uh, a nice little 360, all that stuff behind me I came back with um, in one trip, and it was all just loaded up in a giant ass black duffel bag in the back of my truck. And uh, pretty much any time I saw blue lights on the highway, I got very, very nervous. You have any weapons in the car? Sir, you have no idea. Oh, I've seen this one. Oh. Why? <laughs> when the school shooter is about to kill himself and your sketchers light up. <laughs> Presented without comment. Deleted scenes of Toy Story 4. <laughs> For legal reasons, that was a joke. Posting more coat hanger dimensions. The coat hanger is kind of becoming like the third hole joke of uh, the AK world. That, or what is that, like a twist tie or whatever. The twist tie trick, I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually work. Not that I tried it as a teenager or anything, but I don't actually think that works for an AK. I think that's just gonna make you have a shitload of hammer follow, so. Leaving the range after sneaking a 300 blackout round into some guy's 5.56 magazine. That's just mean. I just love the really fucked up look of satisfaction on this thing's face. That's, um... A little disturbing. You seen that one? Oh, that one. I used to watch those as a kid. Yeah, like JJ the Jet yeah. Plane. Man, yeah, that was yeah. the shit growing up. When the UPS guy delivers the, my... <sighs> It'd be great if I could speak today. When the UPS guy delivers my M16 lower parts kit with an auto sear, and as he's pulling away, the alphabet boys pull up right behind him. Mom! Holy f <laughs> The f did that drawing come from? Like, that's pretty, I don't know, that's unsettling, I guess. That's that's weird, but, uh... Memes post Article 13. Yeah. Hand-drawn. Yeah, this is like, these are really shitty hand-drawn memes. I'm sorry if some, whoever drew this is watching and I called your drawing shitty, but come on, dude. Imagine breaking into somebody's house and all you hear is a retro bike bell bugle horn right before getting lit up by an AR-15. All right, so I actually did see that one a couple days ago, and uh, it took me an embarrassingly long time to notice the bell, uh, the, the horn on the bottom of the, the rifle, but I was too preoccupied in the fact that uh, that's not an AR-15, and what's even worse is that everybody in the comments was pointing out that it's not an AR-15, saying it's a SCAR. That is an ACR, I'm pretty sure. Pretty, pretty sure. Watch me get it wrong, and then everybody points out like how we're four fucking levels deep of everybody getting it wrong. Um, if it's not an ACR, whoever made it should try harder not to have a gun that looks so much like an ACR, all right? It's your fault. Old guys at the range, you're brass. <laughs> what is it with the fact that I guess Social Security doesn't pay well enough for people to actually buy new ammo? They've got to reload everything. They're seriously the worst at it. I think they're just bored. I think when the kids move away, like, reloading is the only thing they've got left. Wow, that was really, really dark. I didn't mean to go there, like, right off the bat. Whoa, okay. Calls your generation entitled. Steals your brass. Well, joke's on you because we're AK guys here and you can't reload shitty steel cased ammo, so. I guess you can, but probably not really good for your dies. Plus, FUDs don't shoot 7.62 by 39 anyway. Actually, come to think of it, they probably do. They, uh, they shoot them in those really bubba f SKSs that, you know, they bought for $90 back in the 90s and they put $300 worth of awful looking plastic shit all over it. 
Those, uh, mm -hmm. Pretty sure the only people who own those are college kids who can't afford AKs and people over 50. I don't know, why do FUDs like the SKS so much? That's something I never understood. Kind of going off on a weird tangent on that one, but seriously, am I the only person who's noticed that? I love how we like move the format past like rating these memes at all. All right, so so boomer memes, boomers stealing brass. Okay, I give that a, a seven. Yeah, I give it a solid seven. I would be giving it an eight if I was wearing my uh, endo brass bandit raccoon t-shirt, but alas, I'm not, so it gets a seven. Next meme, AKA all the other memes, Zenitco. My AK-47 is not too heavy. Yeah, that's what I like to tell people. People are obsessed with Zenico because they see the pictures on Google Images and on Facebook and everything. And they've never held one. That shit is heavy. Seriously, like that, I mean, it looks cool and I mean, it's really functional, but at the same time, oh my God, what do they make it out of? Solid tungsten? Imagine a boomer excited to see that I, a millennial, have a 1911 and then watch his face turn to horror as they see the anime grips. I seriously want to go to a gun show now with like a GoPro, like a hidden camera and the sunglasses or something like that and just do that to the oldest, funniest looking guys I possibly can. Just ask, hey, are you interested in this 1911? And of course, you know, they're gonna say, yeah, let me see it. <laughs> uh, and then they're instantly reminded of why they volunteered to fight the Japanese. All right. What the hell is wrong with you, boy? Ooh, Kalash Bash meme. All right, feeling cute might negligently discharge this rifle later, IDK. So I saw that video and I'll give the guy the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he just, you know, the weight balance on that gun, a shorty SBR with a drum, whatever, but he decided to do fucking calisthenics with this rifle and uh, loaded. Not super ideal, right on the firing line with a bunch of cameras there. My favorite part of that video is actually if you look at that guy that's down there recording with his cell phone, as soon as that shit happened, uh, he immediately stopped recording and bounced. Like, he didn't record the rest of the guys shooting at all. He just, like, put his phone away and realized, you know, I thought being behind the firing line would mean I'm not in danger, but clearly that was a lie, so I'm gonna be over here. If your friend carries a concealed weapon at all times, don't hide in his house in order to throw him a surprise birthday party at 10 p.m. That's really good advice. Ask my camera guy how he knows. Is that a bird? Huh. What is it with birds interrupting meme review? At least it's not a mockingbird. Yeah. Meh, your meme sucks. Meh. I don't think that's what a mockingbird is. It would be... I think that's a parrot. A mocking parrot. It's all right. Good recovery. When $900 conversion kits for your Israeli rifle push you over the edge. That's spicy. That's spicy. All right. <clears throat> I feel like that's a pretty common occurrence to see in Israel. Just... <laughs> the two Hasidic Jews walking with uh, Tavor's, not Hitler. Next meme, please. How it feels when somebody adds me to an AR group. <laughs> it's just Keanu Reeves' face at the bottom there is my favorite. Ah, But yeah, that's exactly how it feels like. It's just pure anguish. You just see a lot of people's builds which about half the time the AR-15 community means they bought a PSA for like 400 bucks at their local gun store and then added a different pistol grip and spray painted it. You gotta remember, AK guys kinda look at AR guys, like Inigo Montoya, the whole, you, you build, you use that word, but I do not think it means what you think it means. We're over here actually slamming rivets, drilling shit out, using hydraulic presses, putting everything together, and they're just like clipping an upper and a lower together. Okay, look at what I built. I think this one actually came from Gary Hughes. Knowing your card will be used to order Chinese food to a San Francisco dental clinic. Ordering flash sale from Apex with no time to get a burner card. Yeah, anybody who's ever ordered parts kits or anything off of Apex uh, knows the, they, they know the drill. Uh, that place has the web security of, you know, one of those gates in the middle of nowhere with no fence on either side of it where just the entire rut around where all the cars just go around the gate. That's Apex's you know, internet security. Every time I've ordered off that site, I get my card info stolen. But, you know, you go parts kit for 199 bucks. All right, I'll just cancel the card. All right, so last one. Do I clap for that? Somebody tell me how meme review works. Last meme, right? I'm a terrible nine year old. This one was, this one's kind of a long one, but it was actually pretty funny. This is pretty damn clever, so I'm just gonna read this out. 
Okay, so this is an 80% theoretical question from an absolute genius, by the way. Could I build a suppressor on a Form 1 and use a functioning truck as the base material? Sort of like you start with a solvent trap kit and once your Form 1 is approved, you go ahead and machine it into a suppressor. I want to basically start with my truck as is and once Form 1 is approved, drill through the door and weld a half inch by 28 female thread adapter into my driver's side door and drill a hole out the passenger side, making my cab into a single baffle blast chamber. Is this legal? See concept diagram here. Also, if all of this is legal and I can form one my truck, what happens if the bank slash wife tries to repossess my truck? Can they even legally take it once it's an NFA device? If they took it, would the ATF go full Waco on them? Thanks. I really don't know. I, I This is actually a question like, I, I would like to tag Adam Kraut and uh, see if we could cover this in the legal brief because I think the people really want to know. Because I think we just found the ultimate workaround for how to get your shit not repossessed. You know, other than actually paying your bills on time. That that usually helps. This gentleman is absolutely playing in a different... I mean, this the, he is in, in 2022, right? Uh, no, that's not that far. That's, that's not how you use that. Damn it. Why am I doing gun meme review? I don't understand this shit. But yeah, uh, basically, I just want to see this guy actually do that and then see what happens. I'm genuinely curious. That's going to be the next, uh, yeah, Heller versus DC is, you know, Tomater versus the state of Arkansas. Of course it's Arkansas. Yeah. Of course it's Arkansas. So that just about wraps up gun meme review. Next time, if you don't think these memes were good enough, put your own in the Discord. It's actually been pretty active. It was kind of cool. A lot of the Patreon supporters actually got together. Excuse me. Jesus Christ. Woo! All right. We awake yet? A bunch of the Patreon supporters got together and actually made the Discord for me and just made me an admin, which was kind of neat. I've never used Discord before, ever, because I'm, I'm really... I'm, I don't have time for this shit. Like, I don't know how any of that works. People are telling me, like, I need to Twitch and I need to Discord and I need to... Tumblr. I don't know how any of that works, so I just got a Discord. But uh, it's actually been pretty cool getting a chance to talk to you guys and everything like that. So you've opened up your own section on the the Discord for gun meme review suggestions. It's where we pulled some of this stuff from. And uh, if you guys are are interested, that's actually probably going to be the place that I look for those from now on. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you next Monday, and we will see you for the next meme review. Again, first Thursday of every month, we're going to try to stick with it pretty consistently. So thank you guys so much, and we will see you next Monday. Bye. Should I start over on that? <laughs> you can also mention... Um... Should, I, no, should I start over on that?